Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do October readings for all zodiac signs. Keep in mind that they are general readings, so if they apply, that's awesome, and if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. Um, there's still time to get in on the contest to win a free reading, um, a free half hour reading, free one hour reading, and a free mystery healing box. Um, make a $5 donation to my channel and you're in. The drawing is going to be on October 1st. If you'd like to learn tarot, uh, I still have tarot card classes. There are five videos at $20 a piece. You can learn at your own pace. Plus, there is a bonus video to go with that. Um, if I sound a little froggy, my apologies. Um, I just had throat surgery yesterday, so I might come off a little rasp. But I wanted to get these out. So, this reading is going to be for Sagittarius. Let's see what's shaking with you in October of 2018. Dang, Sag. Are you wanting to go solo? Let's find out. Bottom of the deck. Hmm. Sag, you have the star card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is a healing energy. This is the universe letting you know that he hears you. And your guards are with you. It's things, you know, being divinely orchestrated. Things behind the scenes. A blessing in disguise, perhaps. Sag, so... Let's see how that applies here. Let's get it. We're going to start off with the Six of Swords. Now, this is the moving away to calmer waters, leaving a situation behind, and perhaps going to a better one. And what's crossing to help or hinder is that you have the Nine of, uh, of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this could be, you know, being very standoffish. But this is somebody who's been in a battle for a while, you know, and they're not backing down. Sad, so maybe your thoughts are you want to go. You want to leave a job, relationship, friendship, partnership, any one of those ships. And whatever tries to make you stay. Maybe that's what you're bucking up against. Because in your foundation, <clears throat> you have the three of pentacles. Now, this is being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and crafts. Sag, it's being recognized for the great person that you are. Sag, maybe that's why you want to go. Maybe somebody doesn't appreciate you. You know, your skills, your qualities, your talents. Maybe they just don't appreciate you. Because what's crowning your whole reading here? Yep. You got the devil. Now, the devil can mean a lot of things. You could be dealing with a Capcoin. But I'm using the medieval cat tarot here, Sag, and every character is displayed as a cat. Not this one. Take the mask off. He's a fox. Somebody wearing a false mask. The devil can also be addictions, illusions, obsessions. Feeling bound and tied to a situation, Sag, you don't think is ever going to end or change. Codependency. Anything negative that you might have to defend yourself against in order for you to find a better situation. Maybe that's what the universe has in store for you, Satch. To break these... Couldn't help but look. Got the Nine of Cups here. A Yes card. Again, another Wish card. Hmm. Libra kind of had something like this, too. Maybe you're dealing with Libra. 
But it seems like, to me, Sag, you just want to break out. You want to bust out in people, have people see you the way you really are. Not a mask or a label that someone might have put on you. Now, in your recent past, Sag, you have the Seven of Cups. Now, this is about, you know, options. This cat's daydreaming of the possibilities. You never really stuck, Sag. There's always an option. Maybe you want to be free to explore your options with no hassle, no anchorage. But going into your future, Sag, you have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands comes from your suit, as well as Leo and as well as Aries. And he's a messenger. He's a messenger to take a course of action. He's a messenger to move on something, Sag. And far be it from you not to move on anything. Maybe your passions, you know, your creativity is calling you. And it's time for you to find out what's out there. Now, how people see you in your environment. Sag, they see you as the queen of swords. Now, king, queen, doesn't matter. It's an energy. She is very precise, direct, focused. Do not come at her with BS. She sees it a mile away. You only antagonize her or him. She wants the truth. And nothing less. And people are seeing you like that. Now, she could be a little cold. Again, he, she, doesn't matter. But, Sage, maybe you have to be like this. You know, with the people around you. While you're standing your ground. And trying to make your way. Because in your environment. Sage, you have a counterpart. You have the king of swords. Again, king, queen, doesn't matter. This guy can be a little cold, harsh with their words, sharp with their tongue, but they're extremely intelligent. And again, they don't deal with BS. They want straight, truth, communication, honesty. And Sag, maybe people are looking at you like this because this is what you have to deal with. You know, fight fire with fire, I'd say. And even though it's not your element, sometimes, Sag, you're going to take on these properties. You know, to be on that even keel, that even level with someone. Now, in your hopes and in your fears, you've got the five of swords. Now, this is one-upping somebody. This is winning at all cost. Again, these are sharp words. Because this cat holds all the swords. And he's sending this one packing. Get to stepping. Nobody hopes for this. You know, Sag, it's a fear that it, it's going to come down to this. And Sag, I hate to say it, but if you're dealing with people that can be cut, cutting with their words. And, you know, emotions take a back seat. You know what you got to do. Hmm. My little friend is on the, on the roof. Don't be surprised if you see a squirrel or a red squirrel. <laughs> or a whole flock of blue jays. <laughs> Sag, your outcome card is the three of wands. And the three of wands is taking that course of action and seeing your ship come in. Not only seeing your ship come in, getting that ship and being like, sayonara, adios. This cat knows what's successful. This cat knows what's good for him. And he's leaving that situation behind. Just like the Six of Swords here, Sag. And you gets to go. You gets to go. 
and people being cutthroat around you are less than kind. You know. It's time to go. So that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.